What is going on guys? Today I received my second ever bait casting rod. The first one was a Berkeley cherry wood. I caught one fish on it and it freaking it broke the rod. I, it was kind of my fault. I was kind of like hoisting them up on the bank, but that one broke. So today I got a replacement rod off of Amazon. This is the Ent Sport E Series Camo Legend rod. Let's see if it can focus. Might not focus. But it was 40 bucks on Amazon. It was a pretty good deal because it's a two piece rod, first of all. And they gave you a medium tip and a medium heavy tip. So it's kind of like having two rods, honestly. So you can switch those back and forth if you want. But this is going to be my first time using it. It looks pretty cool so far. It's got these cool kind of urban camo-ish handles, supposedly made out of carbon fiber from here all the way through here. It looks pretty, looks pretty bougie honestly. It's got like this gold trim, these designs, nice eyelids. It feels pretty light. It's a pretty solid rod. I got on here the Abu Garcia Black Max reel, 30 pound braid. That's just what I had on it. I didn't really feel like re-spooling it. So I'm gonna give this rod a try today. See how it goes, I'll give a little review for you guys if you wanna pick it up on Amazon. I'll link in the description below. Let's see if it's any good. said in the intro that all the rod I had is my first ever big caster making this my second ever rod always use spinning rods all my life but I'm gonna be using this little frog let's see if we can't get a bass to bite there's a lot of weeds out there even though you can't see them but these fish usually bite the top water all right that was that didn't go very far I'm gonna have to get it out there far Get a bass. That might be good. Something I really like about this rod, this thing right here. It's got a nice booty. I like to have a nice rod butt to squeeze onto when I'm casting. It's that way you can get a nice grip. Making a cast like this, hold right onto that, fling it out there. Fish might not be eating top water here. Yeah, this this rod is like super light. It's very nice. The prior rod that I had was a Berkeley Cherry Wood like HD casting rod or something. It actually came as a combo with this Abu Garcia reel. I think at Dick's, it was much heavier. This rod's nice. I like it already. 40 bucks, you can't go wrong. All right, we're gonna go to a new spot. All right, add a new spot. Let's see if we can catch fish here. A little more scummy. The frog should be better. Had a little bit of a drizzle as I was driving here. Let's hope it doesn't start pouring. <laughs> it's not supposed to. There's any fish over here. Oh, right away. That must have been a really small bass. My 
first bite of the day. Took too long. But it's good hope for this pond. Send it back over there. Maybe he'll bite again. Oh, that is not where he was. has to be fish stacked under this freaking sunken log right here. Serious? Nothing. Oh! Oh my god. He had it. He had it. He had it. I don't know if you guys saw that. These fish are not biting the top water. I'm gonna have to put on the Senko. All right, Senko is on. Actually, no, this isn't a Senko. What am I talking about? It's one of these Jean Larue worms. I ain't using this. There we go. Now the Senko is on. Let's see if they could get us a fish. Is that a fish? I finally get a fish? I finally got a fish, guys. Oh my God, it's taking so long. All right, we're gonna have to hoist him up. Let's see if this rod could handle it. Oh, there we go. Finally, finally. We finally got a freaking fish. It's been four hours, guys. Ah, it's the first bass on the new rod. There it is, guys. Finally. Let's let this guy go. I'm gonna have to make the plunge, my friend. I'm gonna have to toss you. There we go. He's fine. All right, maybe the bite is starting to turn on. Let's get back out there. Oh, and look at this. Something took a chomp of my freaking, the end of my uh, worm. It's probably a snapping turtle. I've been seeing a lot of snapping turtles. Oh, I had a bite. There's another fish. Oh yeah. Another fish. Man, after all this time, now I'm starting to catch the fish. Another lift. There we go. So this rod is strong, guys. Wow, this is a long fish. Oh, relax, buddy. There we go, second fish. Kind of a long bass. He's decent. All right, buddy. Same deal as the last guy. You're gonna have to make the jump. See ya. Yes, two fish. Two fish in like the last ten minutes, and then the previous freaking three hours and fifteen minutes, I didn't get anything. Uh, that's the way fishing goes sometimes, but I can't complain. Same situation. I was able to hoist that guy right over this and over this railing with the rod. No problem. 
All right, guys, that is going to do it for the video. It might be a little dark because it's getting late. I got to head out. But overall, great rod. I actually like it a lot. It's very light. It's easy to cast. This has an overall good feel to it. And looks cool. It's got these cool designs. It's got these urban camo grips. Little logo at the butt. It's a nice rod. And for 40 bucks, the fact that you get two tips, you can't go wrong. Oh, and by the way, I should mention, this is not a sponsored video. This is just my own review. But, I mean, hey, Ed Sport, if you're watching this and you want to sponsor me, just call me. Send me some products, I'll be happy to review them. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you're looking for a cheaper rod, beginner rod, definitely a good option on Amazon. Again, I'll leave the link in the description below. Peace out, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.